Prime Minister Boris Johnson, bogged down by party gate, faces an uphill battle to keep his job as the UK and its allies face mounting pressure from Russia on Ukraine's border. His allies have warned it would be unwise to switch prime ministers in a crisis, but this has happened many times before. Over the last week, MPs coming out in Mr Johnson's defence have called for a sense of perspective as the UK faces a host of additional issues. Recent data discovered a cost-of-living crisis, with inflation at its highest rate in 30 years. Allies of the Prime Minister have insisted these crises mean it is the wrong time for a leadership change, so Express.co.uk has explored the precedent. Churchill, World War II and the Korean War. Sir Winston Churchill, the UK's most famous wartime Prime Minister, replaced Neville Chamberlain after World War II had broken out in Europe. The famed Norway debate paved the way to his premiership in 1940 and saw him take over after German forces invaded Belgium. His first term came to an end in 1945 when a series of missteps paved the way for Clement Attlee's post-war Labour government. He stayed in opposition until his second term in 1951, taking over during another international crisis, the Korean War. After the war ended in 1953, he stayed on for two more years, retiring in ill health by 1955. David Lloyd George, World War I and the Russian Revolution. The Russian Revolution of 1917 was a historic international disaster for Western leaders. They lost an ally in the Romanov family, killed at the hands of Lenin's Communist Party that would eventually become the United Sovereign Soviet Republics, USSR. Three months before, the UK was a key player in the devastating World War I. And the country exchanged prime ministers weeks after one of the deadliest battles. Then Secretary of War, David Lloyd George, took over from H. H. Asquith not long after the Somme Offensive of 1916. The prime minister had to guide the country through two international crises as he settled the war and navigated relations with newly communist Russia.